Welcome to Xara Template Tutorial Lesson Number 78. In this tutorial, I'm going to be talking about how to modify your navigation menu bar properties so that it's easier for you to manage having sub menus. And also, I'm going to talk about how to modify your navigation menu bar properties if you don't plan on having any sub menus. And the reason that I'm making this tutorial is I had a YouTube viewer request on how to accomplish this task. And by the way, this is not a new feature in, in version 8 premium. This feature was also available in version 7 premium of the Xara Web Designer software. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is to go to the upper right hand corner of your screen to your designs gallery. Go ahead and lock that panel. Click on your page and elements folder and then click on navigation bars menu folder. We're going to go ahead and drag in one of these horizontal navigation menu bars. So make sure it's horizontal. And when you finish doing that, let's go ahead and close out the designs gallery. And the first thing I want you to take note of is that we have some generic text for each of these buttons. You'll see that it says button text 1, button text 2, and button text 3. So once you take note of that, let's go ahead and double left click on our navigation menu bar and I want you to take note of one other thing and that is that our site navigation bar option here under the settings section is unchecked so it's not going to automatically link to all pages um, that we create in our website and I'll show you what I mean let's go ahead and hit OK and open up our page and layer gallery and go ahead and lock that panel and if we click on new page and hit new page again and one more time and have a total of four pages you'll see that our buttons stay the same the three buttons that we had are still there it doesn't automatically link to page four three or two so let's go ahead and delete all those pages that we just created and so we just have one page and let's go ahead and double left click on this navigation menu bar and let's go ahead and turn on that option and then hit OK and you'll notice that when we turn that option on the first button does not have generic text anymore it now says home and that's because it's referencing the index page in our page and layer gallery so the index page represents home so that's again that's why it says home there if we hit hit the new page button in our page and layer gallery you'll see that it now says new page for that second button and if we change that text in our page and layer gallery and make it maybe products you'll see that it now reflects that in our navigation menu bar and if we create another new page again it's going to say new page in our navigation menu bar but what if you wanted to make a sub menu maybe your next page you, you created this page 3 was supposed to be a sub menu for products well the option that we have checked in our navigation menu bar properties is not going to be very helpful in the way that it's set up because every new page that we create in our page and layer gallery is going to become a new button in our navigation menu bar for example if I hit new page again you'll see that it creates another new page button in our horizontal navigation menu bar property well let's go ahead and delete that page 4 and I'm going to show you how you would have to make a sub menu with that option check in our navigation menu bar properties we have to double left click on the navigation menu bar property I'm sorry, on the navigation menu bar itself, and it brings up the navigation bar properties. And when you do that, uh, under your buttons and menu section, which is this section here, you would click on new page, and you would actually have to delete it and remove it from our navigation menu bar. And then under products, you would click the plus button next to it, and then double click on add menu, and then we're going to give this this button name the name uh, category A. So it'll be category A under the product section. And then we're going to set the URL to our third page. So when you double left click on that, it's going to bring up the web properties and call it link to. And under the link to option, you're going to set it to page three and hit OK. So now we have a sub menu under products called category A and it's linked to page 3 in our page and layer gallery so go ahead and hit OK and if you go to file preview website 
you'll see that it has a submenu category A. But the process that we just used was inefficient. We had to delete something and then we had to relink. So let's go ahead and double left click on our page on our navigation uh, menu so that it brings up the navigation bar properties and let's uncheck that option so that it doesn't automatically link to all the pages and create a new button every time we create a new page and then hit OK and I'm actually going to change the name of this third page so that it has a, a name to it and we'll say we'll call it category A as well so that they both have the same name alright and let's go ahead and create another new page in our page and layer gallery and you'll notice that it doesn't create a new button in our navigation menu bar and that's because if you go to navigation menu bar properties you'll see that when we go to the navigation menu bar properties that option is unchecked so it doesn't create a new page automatically so if we hit new page again you'll see that again it doesn't create a new page and let's go ahead and give page 4 a title we'll call it a uh, category B and we'll call page 5 category C and let's go ahead and double left click on this navigation menu so that it brings up bring, so that it brings up our navigation bar properties and let's say that we wanted to have more sub menus for the product tab so left click on the plus button next to it and under the under the category A we have an option that says double click to add menu so right underneath that double left click on that and we'll call it category B and we're going to set the URL to page 4 because that's for category B and so we'll cl click on that menu click on category B hit OK and then right under category B we're going to make one more sub menu so double click to add menu and we'll call it category C and then double click on URL set and then go to link to and set it to category C and hit OK now you notice we never had to delete anything and that's because we have the site navigation bar that automatically links all pages unchecked so this allows you to make your sub menus without having that problem so hit OK and then go to file preview website and if you go to products you'll notice that it has category A, B, and C set and it's linked to those pages now let's go ahead and double left click on this navigation menu bar again and actually you know what let's go ahead and and double click to add a button so let's go ahead and double click to add a button we want to make a new button and we're going to call this page services because I want to show you that when you have that button unchecked it allows you to have a balance between using both um, sub menus and adding new buttons so when you add that new uh, services button let's go ahead and hit OK and create a new page in our page and layer gallery and we'll call this page services and if you go back to your navigation menu bar under services for that that button we just created we're going to double left click under the URL section and it'll bring up our web properties click on the link to option and go to your drop down menu and select services and hit OK and now that services button in our navigation menu bar is linked to page 6 for services so it, it allows you again to create your sub menus and still add your buttons in and the way I did it was a little bit more inefficient in terms of how I just created that button if I were you I would actually just create a new page and when you create that new page give it a give it a name excuse me I'm burping here a little bit sorry about that uh, but yeah when you create that new page you'll give it a title and then go to your navigation menu bar properties create a new button give it the name about us double click on the URL and then go to link to and set it to page about us and hit OK that way you don't have to go back and forth between uh, your page and layer gallery you kind of do everything in a more uh, synchronized fashion the way I just created, created that last button but yeah that's pretty much how you create sub menus 
and uh, manage your submenus in a more easier fashion and also uh, that's how you uh, manage using a standard navigation menu bar so I hope this tutorial was helpful for you if you have any questions uh, please feel free to send me a message on YouTube uh, don't forget to embed subscribe and give us thumbs up leave comments you know leave questions if you have those as well and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials have a great day